That is a topic with a conversion of decimal code, which is base 10, to what binary code, which is base 2. We are converting decimal code, which is base 10, to what binary code, which is what base 2. Understood now? We are taking from base 10 to what base 2. Then we said, question number one said, convert 25 base 10 into its binary word equivalent. That means you should convert it to binary code. That is equivalent. What will I do? I'm going to divide through by the base I'm sending it to. From base 10, I'm sending it to base 2. Therefore, I'm going to divide whatever they give me in base 10 through by what? 2. I'm going to divide through by what? 2. Then we say 2 divide 25. 2 divide 25. Give me 12. Remember what? 1. 12 divided by 2. Then 2 divided 12 will give me what? 0. Remember 6. 2 divided 6 will give me what? 0 as well. Remember what? 3. 2 divided 3 will give me what? 1. Remember 1. 2 divided what? 1 will give me 0. Why? Because two things sharing one thing, it's impossible. They can't be able to get anything. What they will say is to keep it so that when somebody gives us another thing, it will become what two, we can be able to divide. Therefore, we can't divide one by two things. So we said, keeping what zero, nobody going with anything. We now keep our remainder, which that one will become what remainder, which will keep till when we see another money, add to it, or when we see another item, add to it, we'll be able to what share. Therefore, we say that what two divide one will give me what nobody goes with anything zero, and we keep the what one aside for other one to come. So the way of taking it, we see the direction of taking it from down to what upward, from down to upward. You see the arrow. I will take it one one zero zero one. That means my twenty five base ten is equal to one one zero zero one base two. You see it there. I said my base 25 base 10 is 11001 base 2. Or we can use this method. Or we can use this method by saying 2 divided 25 will give me what? 12 plus 1. This plus means remainder 1. Then 2 divided what? 12 will give me 6 plus 0. That remainder 0. Are you what I'm saying now? 2 divided 6 will give me 3 plus what? 0. That remainder what? 0. 2 divided over 3 will give me 1, remainder 1, which is what plus 1. Then 2 divided 1 will give me 0 plus what 1. And this plus, plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 are ah, what? Remainder 1, remainder 0. I can say it. So now, this is 17 of this. So that when you see someone using this pattern, you will know that it is 17 of what we are doing here over here. So when I say what? 25 base 10 is equal to 1, 1, 0, 0. 1 base what? 2. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 base 2. Then remember that every of our transaction, every day by day transaction are done by what? Base 10. Yes. The transaction you make every day, even in our mathematics, in our physics, in our chemistry, all the calculation we do there, the value we make use there, they are in base what? 10. Or less is being specified. Any number that is written is all in what? In base 10. Or less when they are not in that base 10, we will specify it by telling you the base where it is. Therefore, if I write something like this, if I write um, uh, 47, this 47 is in base what? 10. I don't need a soothsayer to tell me that this 47 is in base 10. If you write any number without telling me the base, it means that it's what? Base 10. If you write any number without telling me the base, automatically that number is in base what? 10. Then let's assume that I have what? 27 plus what? I'm a 1, 5. And they say you should add it up. Then what do you do? You say 7 plus what? 5. Give me 12. Then what do you do? You said, well, will I write 12 here? No, I can't write 12 here. Why? What is my reason that I can't write 12 here? Because I'm adding this in base 10. And anything above 10 cannot be what? Anything above 9 cannot stay here. Anything above 9 cannot stay here. Then what will I do? 12 divided by what? 10. And that will give me what? 1. The remainder what? 2. I will write down my remainder, look at my remainder here, which is what, 2. I will write down my remainder here, which is 2, 
carry my quotient, which is 1 over to the other side. And as I carry my quotient, I add to here, become 3, plus this will give me what? 42. That means 27 plus 15 give me 42 base what? 10. Why would I do that? Because I'm adding this in base 10. And this is the reason. So when you are teaching a child, you say this plus this give you what? 12. You write what? 2 carry 1. Why do you write 2 and carry 1? Because you are adding this in base what? 10. Therefore, 10 you have to what? Divide it to give me a quotient of 1. Remainder 2, which I'm going to write my word. So remainder here, carry my quotient over there. So you will not see that what we are doing are our day by day transactions are done in base 10. In our multiplication, division, subtraction, all are in base word 10. They are done in base 10. Can we go to question number 2? Yeah, we are still in topic conversion of decimal code base 10 to binary code base 2. And the question number 2 said, convert 35.6245 base 10 to its binary equivalent. That's the question there. We say solution. We said here, you remember here, that what the former one we did was a whole number. The first question, which is question number 1, was a whole number, which is what, 25. But in this case now, we have what here, that's what I say here, we have two parts now, which is have what a whole number part and fractional part. That means, that's what I say here, this 35.625 has a what, two parts. Which what, whole number part is what, 35. And the fractional part is a what, 0 0.625, that's the fractional part. Then that is, how did I get it, that is, I know that 35.625, this is the same thing as 20, 35. After point, I told you anything after point here is a whole number part. So when I say that is what 35 plus, after I have removed 35, I am extending. After I have removed 35, which is my whole number, what will remain here is zero. When I say zero dot six two five, and that's my word fractional part. Understood? When I say that this have two parts, which is whole number part, which is 35 removed. Then what will remain here after I'm removing is zero? I will have 0 0.625. Then now I have my whole number part. I will treat it as a whole number. How did I treat whole number part? I will say that I will divide two by what two? I will divide two by what two when I'm treating whole number part from base 10 to what base two. I will divide what two by what two. Look at my whole number part, which is 35. I will say 2 divide 35. That gives me 17 remainder 1. And 2 divide 17, it will give me 8 remainder 1. And 2 divide 8, it will give me 4 remainder 0. And 2 divide 4 will give me what? 0, I'm at 2 remainder 0. And 2 divide 2 will give me 1 remainder 0. And 2 divide 1 will give me 0 remainder 1. I think I've explained to you how we get what? Now 2 divided 1 is 0 because 2 cannot divide 1 thing. So you have to keep it. And keeping it is to keep it as a remainder. And I will say the direction of taking it, you see the direction of taking it, the direction of taking the value, which is down to what upward. I have 100011 base what 2. And I say that the 5 base 10 is something about 10001 base what 2. Then I go to fractional part. Coming to fractional part, I have what? 0 0.625 in my fractional part. In fractional part, I have to multiply through, not divide it through. What I'm going to do in fractional part is what? To multiply through, not divide it through. You see, it's 0 0.625 multiplied by 2. He gave me this. I understand it now. This is where our problem lies. He gave me this. Then what am I interested in? What is my interest here? Whole number part is my interest. I have to take my whole number part, which is one. I come here. And before I take this whole number part, you remember that this is a word dot, which is what fraction. I have to put it here. Come over here. I have to put the dot. Obviously the dot. I put the dot first. After I put the dot, that when I multiply this by this, give me what? 1.25. I am going to take my whole number part. I carry it to what I write it down here. Are you watching here? I have carried it and write it down here. And when I have taken this one, which is my whole number part, which I'm interested, what will remain here is zero. That I will write down what 0 0.25. After I've taken this one, what will remain here is zero. I will write down what 0 0.25. I'll write my one down. 
Then the next thing, I'm going to carry my fractional part as well to multiply it again by what 2. You now see 0 0.25 multiplied by 2, and that gives me 0 0.5. Then what, what am I interested on? In? I'm interested on what my whole number part. And what is my whole number part here is 0. Because I told you that after my decimal point, any, anything here is a whole number part. After my decimal point here, anything here is my whole number part. And what is there? Zero. I have to carry my zero here. Look at here. You see where I write my zero and carry it and write it down. And after I've taken my zero, what will remain here as well is zero. Then what's this? Point five. I have to write it down. As my fractional part that remain after the multiplication. After multiplication, look at my fractional part that remain. I'm going to take it back again. Don't multiply by two. I'm multiplying by two. I have what? One point zero. And as I have one point zero, I have to take my whole number part, which I'm interested on. I'm going to carry it over here. Look at what I'm writing it down. Then what will remain when I've taken this one? I will remain zero. And what I'm going to write down again, which my fractional part will go zero point zero. That's my fractional part that remain. Then you now see that my fractional part has finished, which is what zero point zero is nothing. So I'm going. I'm not going to multiply it again. And that where it terminates. That will be it terminates here. Zero point zero terminated. Therefore, what's the direction of taking? Watch this. Look at the direction of taking. From up down. But the other one was down up. But this time now, what are we doing? From up what down. That means I'm going to take point. That means my 0 0.625 base 10 is equal to points. Are you following? 1, 0, 1, base 2. I will write it. Point. 1, 0, 1, base 2. Then I'm going to say, therefore, let's see the calculation about it. 35.625 base 10 was written as well. 35 plus 0 0.2 0 0.625, which is equal to, where is my 35? Look at it. One, look at over here. Look at my 35. 1000111 zero, 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 one, one base 2. Look at it. 1000111. Zero, 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 one, one. I can say now. Huh? What's the next? The next man is this. And who is that man? Point. One zero one, and that was just the point one zero one base two. And I say hence in full, which is our answer now, the compact of five point six two five base ten is equal to what one zero 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 one one point one zero one base two. And that's my word answer, and that's all about it. So remember that in a fractional part we multiply by 2, in a whole number part we divide 2 by what 2. And when you get to 0, 0.0, it terminates. We are no longer to multiply again, and that way it terminates. Thank you. If you have not subscribed, endeavor to subscribe. But if you have subscribed on this channel, you don't need to subscribe again. And when you are subscribed, if you are new to this channel, if you are new to this channel and you are subscribed, when you subscribe, you will tap your award notification bell so that you will be able to what receive all the award form. Then, if you have subscribed, remember to follow us from what class one to the last class. If you jump any of the class, you will not understand the what the class where you are. So, for you to understand this properly, you have to follow up from what class one to the what the last class, so that you'll be able to what understand it properly. Then, if you want to get this video, you have to go to what easy learning. Easy Learning Tutorial Class. If you go to your YouTube, type Easy Learning Tutorial Class. You have to get what this video. Then when you have done that, you click on more video. You will see the whole classes in the what channel in the what playlist. You study from channel plus class one to the last. Thank you for what subscribing. Thank you for sharing this video. Thank you for commenting over this video. Now, that is the question. Topic. We are still in the same topic. Topic. Compaction of decimal code, which we call base 10, to binary code, which we call base 2. We said, topic, compaction of decimal code, which we call base 10, to binary code, which we call what? Base 2. We said, number, question number 3, convert 27.8125 to base 10 uh, uh, 27.8125 base 10 to each binary equivalent. They said convert 27.8125 base 10 uh, base 10 to each binary equivalent solution. We remember that 25.8125 base 10 
has two parts, the fractional parts and whole number parts. Doing that, I can write this to have a fractional part of 27 and the, um, a whole number part of 27, I mean to say, and the word 0.8125 base 10 as a word fractional part. And what do we do to whole number parts? We don't say whole number parts, we don't do this. 27, we divide 2 by 2 because I'm converting base 10 to base 2. So I'm going to divide 2 by what 2. You get it? I'm converting base 10 to base 2, whole number. I'm converting whole number, base 10 to base 2. I will divide 2 by 2. So what am I going to do here? 27 divided by 2 give me 13, remainder 1. 13 divided by 2 give me 6, remainder 1. And 6 divided by 2 give me 3, remainder 0. And the 3 divided by 2 give me 1, remainder 1. And 1 divided by 2 will give me 0. When two persons divide one thing, they will not go with anything. Rather, they will keep the one so that when the thing gets up to two, they will be able to divide. So we say one divided by two will give me zero remainder one. Then when I'm taking this, I take it this way, taking it this way from down to upward, down upward. I will have what one one zero one one base what two. That means my twenty seven base ten is equal to. 11011 base uh, 2. That's it. When I come to fractional parts, coming to fractional part, I say fractional part. Then I will use the fractional part with 0 0.8125 to multiply 2. When I multiply by 2, so you see that in multiplying it by 2, I will have this. Then having this, when I multiply it by 2, I will have this. Then having this, I have to carry what the whole number part. What is the whole number part? One. Look at this. After this man, if I have this decimal, after this decimal, anything here become whole number part. Are you understanding? Come over here. After this decimal, anything here after the decimal is a whole number part. Then here now after the decimal, what do I see? One is a whole number. I carry it over here. Look at where. Then before I carry the one, I have to put my dots. Why did I put my dots? This decimal, this decimal is what I've already put here. Then I will carry my word one here and write down the word, the fractional part. What is the fractional part? 0 0.625. After I have removed this one, what will remain here is zero. It becomes 0 0.625. After I have removed this one, what will remain here is zero. And then my fractional part becomes 0 0.625, which remains as my fractional word part. Then carry one to this place. Then I will use my fractional part again, which is 0 0.625 to multiply by 2 again. When I multiply it by 2 again, I will have what? 1.25. This 1.25 have a whole number of what? 1. I will take it over here, carry it to this. I will write down the fractional part because when I take this one out, I will remain what? 0 0.25. Then that's what I write down. I write down 0 0.25. And carry the whole number part to this, which is one. Then again, I will use my fractional part again, which is 0 0.25 multiplied by 2 again. I will have 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5. And what is my whole number part here? My whole number part is 0. Look at what is here. After this decimal, what is this? Is 0. I will carry the 0 over here. I will write my word, my fractional part, which is what? 0 0.5. My fractional part here now is 0 0.15. After I've taken 0, what will remain is 0. 0.5, which is my fraction apart, I will take it back again, which is 0 0.5 times 1, 2. Multiply my fraction apart again with by 2, which is 0 0.5 back times by 2, I will have 1.0. This 1.0, I have to take my whole number part, which is what, 1, over here, the way I carry it to right. Then I will write down the word, the fraction apart. What is the fraction apart? When I take the 1 out here, what will remain here is 0. I have 0, 0.0 as my fraction apart. And I carry my one over here. And this is where it terminates. You see that my fractional parts have come into 0, 0.0, which is what it has terminated. I cannot multiply it again because it has terminated. So what's next? I will say therefore 0 0.8125 base 10 is the same thing as what? 0 0.1101 base 2. 0 0.8125 base 10 is the same thing as what? 
point, which is this point, one, one, zero, one, this two. Then I will then say, hence, 27.8125 base 10, 25 base 10, look at base 10, is equal to, is equal to, I have come over here, is equal to 11011, look at it here, 11011, which is what, 27, the whole number part, dots, I'm not putting the fractional part, what is the fractional part? 1101 base uh, 2, that's my word, answer. And look at my answer here, that's my word, answer.